so good evening good evening upload number two of the day yes we're uploading now not live streaming uh there is glitches all over this platform at the moment which is costing me money and this is my job so we're going back to uploading rather than live streaming people uh big up to everybody who watched the last video about matteo genduzzi if you haven't go and check that video out immediately and uh, we have sold him to olympic marseille for eight million pounds which is pretty much there or thereabouts what we signed him for in the first place. And uh, if you want to get my thoughts on Matteo Genduzzi's move to Marseille, go and check the video out. Make sure you are liking this one. Make sure you are subscribing to the channel. I'm going to be doing two uploads every day um, for the next three days. Uh, podcast will probably be on Saturday. And, uh, and then obviously we're playing on Sunday as well. So yeah, make sure you're checking out all the content. Big up to everybody who's showing love on this channel. And this channel goes from strength to strength. So big up to all of you lot. You lot are crazy. The rats have infiltrated everything. Uh, so big up to you. But we are going to talk about Project Youth. Starboy. Yes, the Starboy is stalling on a contract. He wants to see and wait until the end of the season before he commits to a long-term contract at the football club. He wants to see whether we get Champions League football. And... Um, this is why I don't buy into a youth project, people. Anyone who watches this channel on a regular will know that this is the biggest load of codswallop ever. Project Youth, until they get a little bit decent and uh, and then other clubs come in for them and they start, oh, actually, I want Champions League or, oh, actually, I want to win more trophies. And all of a sudden, you end up with, um, with players that are Project Youth players like Starboy um deciding that they might actually want to have a look elsewhere listen i don't think he will leave this summer um i'm not sure whether he's going to sign a contract or not but this is what fabrizio romano has said and uh he and i quote said uh, the boy really loves arsenal he's in love with the club with the city with the people in the club he's super respectful with arsenal and he's plan he's not planning to leave he's not planning to leave Saka is considered as a key player for Arsenal and they want to offer him a new deal. He then goes on to say on the contract, the feelings are very good between the club and the player, but it's not a discussion that will take place now in February or March. Maybe at the end of the season, it's up to them to propose an important contract and show the ambition of the club. And that is the crucial bit I took out of this. An important contract, meaning you're on top dollar, you're one of our better players and the ambition of the football club. We've heard this before, people. We've heard this with Alexis Sanchez. We've heard this with Robin Van Persie. We've heard this with, I could name 20 players. It'd be pointless. We all know who they are. And uh, it's always been about the ambition of the football club. And the ambition of the football club is not great. And the reason for that is because fans just allow them to take the mick every season. If Bako Saka leaves, fans will be going, oh, he's a snake, he's this, he's that after spending years saying he's the best young player in world football. And this is why I get the ump so many times. Like I've said, I'm going to reiterate this for all the cheap seats at the back that don't prick their ears up and actually listen to what I say. Um, I don't think he will leave this summer. Will he leave Arsenal? Yes, but it won't be this summer. Will we sign a new contract? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't actually know how long he's got left on his contract, so we'll have a look. Um, let's have a little look at his contract situation because he's bagged seven goals this season in the league he's got four assists and um he started off slow he's got better in recent weeks but it's actually eight goals four assists all season in all comps in 29 appearances which listen isn't that great but it isn't bad either is it it's there or thereabouts and for somebody who is let's not forget only 20 years old just turned that's actually a really good output and uh, he's valued on transfer market at 65 million euros his contract expires June 2024. So he will be down to the last two years of his contract come this summer. And um, we shall see. We shall see what happens with him. If we offer him a new contract, I expect it to be another two or three years on top of what he's already got, making it a four or five year contract in total, which means he, he would be seen at about 65, 70, 75 mil if we was to sell him. So it would be great business for the club because they would have got 70 million, 60 mil, whatever he may go for if he does go. And he came through the academy, so he's cost us nothing to purchase. Yes, we've obviously trained him, coached him, you know, all, all the stuff that goes with that. When I'd imagine it probably cost maybe a million or two per player to get him up to first team standard. So it'd be a massive profit if it was to happen after signing a new contract. 
if he went down to the last two years of his contract and we got to say one year left on his contract, all of a sudden we're in a bit of a sticky situation. If we was to sell him this summer, if he didn't sign a contract, how much is he going for? Maybe 50 still? I don't know. Uh, maybe he signs a new contract and actually stays for the duration of that contract and then signs another contract. Do I see that happening? No. I do think he may sign a new contract, um, but I'm sure that he'll want reassurances. Like Fabrizio says, that it has to be an important offer and not only an important offer, have to show the ambition of the football club. This football club hasn't got any ambition. And the reason it hasn't is because fans are going to be jumping for joy at fourth spot if we get it. We did that for two decades with Wenger. At least Wenger won like major trophies when he first came in. The last decade of his reign was just an absolute disgrace. You know, the odd couple of cups here and there. That's not why we smashed a beautiful stadium down. Let's be real. So I always take these things with a pinch of salt. I always look on the flip side and both sides and then come to my own conclusion. And my conclusion of this is he will leave the football club. It won't be this summer, in my opinion. Um, he will sign a contract potentially, but it'll be with clauses in there to say, look, if a team in Champions League football come in, if we don't make it for the next two, three seasons or we only make it once, I want to play every year in the Champions League. I want to be challenging for titles, et cetera, et cetera. I'm sure there'll be something in that contract similar to that, which will get him an out and will get Arsenal a hell of a lot of money. And let's not pretend here, right? The kid is very good. Yeah, let, let's, let's just have that right. He is a very good footballer. But, but very good footballers don't tend to stay at Arsenal too long when they realise, actually, hang on a minute, we're not really going anywhere here. And like I've said, I don't need to name all the players. We've seen umpteen players walk out of this football club because of the ambition of the club. So if fans want this boy to stay and fans want this club to be ambitious, then fans need to be ambitious. Fans need to raise their standards. We're the third biggest football club in England. We need to act like it. Yes, it's great that we've got Saka and we've got Smith Rowe and we've got Martinelli. Can throw Ramsdale in there. He's been absolutely superb. Yes, they're all young. You know, if you want to throw Odegaard in there, he's still young. You know, we've got Tierney. He's not a million miles older. Neither is Gabriel. We have got some good young players at this football club. But this is now where we have to sprinkle the absolute top draw players on top of that. And unfortunately, we ain't going to do that because who wants to come and play for Arsenal of any standard? No one, really. All the top tier players want to play for the top tier teams like Chelsea and City and Liverpool. Um, if you go further afield, they want to play for maybe Inter or Juve or Bayern or even Real Madrid and Barcelona. They ain't going to come or PSG. They ain't going to come to us because we don't act like a big club. And the sad fact is and the sad reality is We've got a lot of players that have gone out on loan, that have left the club, whether it be for free, whether it be on a termination of contract, et cetera, et cetera. And they've all left the football club um, for the same reasons, because they want um, they want to be ambitious. They want to, you know, go, go and do better than they're doing now. They want to play with better players. Now, some of these players weren't good enough and it's good riddance to them, but some of them are good enough. Gendouzi, one of them. You know, Abamyang, one of them. You know, people are disagree on both of them, but listen, they're better than they're better than a hell of a lot of players that we've got now. And these players all talk. They've all got mates in other teams. They're all going to be talking. All summer, they've been, oh, hey, don't want to go there, mate. Yeah, don't want to go there. I'm sure Remy Martin has had a conversation with Buendia and uh, and would have said to him, yo, you don't want to go there, mate. You know, Pepe's probably having conversations with teammates of other clubs where he used to be or players that might want to come to play in London at Arsenal. Oh, yeah, you don't. And Abamyang, another one, came out on his press conference and said, yo, the only reason I left is because of Arteta. That's the only problem I had, mate. Everything else was sweet. So these players do talk. And the vibe at this club, yeah, on the pitch, it looks great. And everyone's fist pumping. And yeah, it's all vibes. But the sad reality is this club is gutter. It is in the gutter. We run like a Mickey Mouse football club. We don't want to be challenging for top honours. Everyone's content. Everyone's happy. Don't worry. We drop some new merch. We'll, we'll write it out again. Woohoo! What do I know? You tell me. Do you think that Saka will sign a new contract? Leave it in the comments down below. Do you think that Bukayo Saka will still be at this football club in five years' time? Leave that in the comments section down below. Uh, make sure you are smacking up the likes. Let me know your thoughts and feelings on everything I've spoke about. And uh, Project Youth, is it a thing or is it just a load of what? Cod's wallop. I don't know. You tell me. Uh, go back and check out the Genduzi video. I dropped that earlier on this evening at five o'clock. So make sure you check that out. 
and going forward for the next three days it will be uploads rather than live streams so big up to all of you subscribe like share we're out of here people laters